Hi, this is Jeff Stark from Cross Company. Uh, last little video we did was on a pressure compensated pump. Today we're going to do one on a fixed displacement pump. This is a Vickers V10 pump. It has a four gallon ring. Run to 1800 will give you six gallons per minute. And what we've got is a 10 horsepower motor running at 460 volts. And the full load amps is 12 and a half amps. So what we're going to do is make sure that when we set it up, we set our relief valve that we do not exceed 12 and a half. Uh, the motor also has a 1.25 service factor, which will help with that, but we don't want to risk it. On a fixed displacement pump, there is no compensator, nothing to catch the pressure other than the relief valve. On the relief valve, we're going to come through a check valve to keep the pump isolated from anything that's going on out there from trying to run the pump backwards if the cylinder comes down. Run through a check valve and through a relief. The relief comes in on the nose of the RV5 uh, Vickers cartridge valve, goes out the side right back down into the tank. So we're getting ready to start it up. I'm going to turn the power on and we'll show you how to set the relief while watching the amperage. First thing we're going to do is check the rotation, make sure we're, it's a right hand pump, which means with your right hand out and facing the shaft, it should turn clockwise. And it does. So we're right hand rotation. If the rotation would be wrong on a three phase, all you got to do is switch two of the wires on your three leads coming in, switch any two, and that will give you the other rotation. So I'm going to start it up. I put a ball valve in. This would normally be the customer connection, but I put a ball valve in just to be able to load the pump. And I've got the relief back all the way out. And as you see, when I bring it up, So at 12 and a half amps, we've got about 2,650 PSI. So if you do the math on that, 6 GPM at 10 horsepower, then that's about what it should be. And this customer wants to run at 2,400 PSI, so we're going to back it down. 